Doc, I really would like to get off of these blood pressure meds. They're really annoying. Except uh, I really also don't want to eat any differently or do any exercise. So just, you work with me? What would you tell a patient like that? You can't have the results unless you do the work, right? So if I say, well, how many of you are investors? Raise your hands. Okay, a few of you. And how many of you are taking out student loans? Raise your hands. A few more. How many of you would like to retire one day? That should be all of you. You're all investors. Whether you are actively taking a role in it or not, if you want to retire, if you're taking out student loans, you are investing. If you choose not to make a decision or take any action, that's an investment decision too. So just like the patient that doesn't want to change their lifestyle to get the results they want for their health, if we want to retire, if we want to be financially free, we have to do the work now to make sure that that happens. We're in medical school. We're taking on a lot of student loan debt. And the picture might be a little scary at first, but hang in with me here. The average MD, according to healthcaresalaries.com, makes $57,800 per year. Now, if in the example up here, if you take out $200,000 in loans, two common ways of paying it back. One is the extended fixed, which is less common, but that would be a simple 30-year fixed repayment of $1,338 a month. And you notice that number up there, 201,000? That's your total interest paid. You'd be paying back more in interest than you actually took out in the first place. Ooh, right? But the more popular one is uh, income-based repayment, which is more flexible for everybody. You would start off with $504 a month, which is much more reasonable. Eventually, that would ramp up to 1958. And if you make all of your payments for 30 years, the government will uh, forgive the rest of your loans, which in this case would be 192,000. These numbers come straight from help, uh, uh, sorry, from studentloans.gov. In this case, you'd be paying $319,000 in interest and 327,000 in total. Yeah, under both these scenarios, you're paying back loans 